Hello everybody out there. It is me, Jasmine, your big sister, the big sister you never had, the big sister you always wanted, whatever. I'm here and today we're going to be talking about self-worth. And I know I've discussed this in previous videos, but this is going to be a little bit of a segue to different things. So as many of you know, I work as a model. I've been working as a model for years and years and it has been good for the most part not lucrative all the time but the thing i run into a lot is cattiness at castings a lot of people are very nice but there are the few people who are just not very nice and a little big-headed and full of themselves and when you go into those situations and you don't have like the strongest center or you might not be like the strongest the emotionally strongest person it can be a little disheartening and discouraging and you're like, oh, I don't want to go to castings at all. Believe me, we've all been there. I've been there. I'm still there. I struggle with it constantly when you go into a casting and it's like a cattle call casting. There's a bunch of people there. There are girls that are prettier than you, skinnier than you, whatever more than you because there's always going to be those people in life. So to anyone else out there who is not a model, this applies to everything. There will always be greater and lesser people than you in every area of life. And this serves as a motivation towards you, but it also serves as an indication towards you that there are greater and lesser people always, forever. That's just how life goes. If we didn't have people or situations like that, we would have nothing to marvel on and nothing to, you know, maybe set a benchmark for ourselves again. And now I'm gonna tell you how to brush that off. So um, a friend of mine keeps saying to me, water off the duck's back. I was like, what the hell does that mean? Well, water off the duck's back. When water hits a duck, it just like slides off its back, right? These situations where you're constantly comparing yourselves to other people should be water off your back. You should not look at another person and go like, oh, I don't have this or that or whatever. You should be looking at who you were yesterday and comparing yourself to that person. Are you doing better than you were yesterday? And if the answer is yes, that's great, amazing. Keep doing that. Keep doing that over and over again. And the more you practice this, the easier it gets. Be better than what you were or who you were yesterday. When you start off like working out or dieting or whatever, you don't go like balls to the wall, right? Some people do and good on you, but like, let's be real. You don't go balls to the wall because half the time you'll fail you'll just like end up flat on your ass and like oh I shouldn't have like done it that way you need to do it incrementally you need to make an effort one step at a time this is just like AA and all of these things that have taught you cliches exist for a reason and cliches are just truths that have happened over and over in time if my battery dies I'm gonna be livid one of the cliches is you know, one step at a time, one day at a time. You don't start lifting weights, you don't start a workout regimen by going and doing the hardest damn thing. You don't run a whole marathon in a day. You start at one corner of the road and you get to the other corner of the block, right? You pace yourself and you get there. But you have to put on blinders. You have to like say like, okay, this is about me, this is about me in this position and I need to get to the end of the sidewalk or whatever it is or whatever your benchmark is and that's all you have to focus on. It's not about winning the race, it's about completing the race and the race is with yourself. In the end you only have you. So I think we need to start and constantly in society we're told like hey you're not good enough, pretty enough, this enough, that enough and fuck all of that. Say fuck you to all of that like you can say a bad word oops I said a bad word but really comparing yourself to other people is going to get you nowhere but upset with yourself and that's not fair to you you are a unique individual you are a unique human being when it gets down to like everything you are one singular person and you matter to this universe you matter to this world you matter to a whole plethora of people whether you know it or not and you have to respect that you are an individual you have to respect that you shouldn't compare yourself to others because it's taking away from what is you it's demeaning you really it's just demeaning you and women particularly have a problem with this because we have been taught 
to compare ourselves to other women. Like we have been taught, we've been sold this, we're in competition. I even find myself saying like crazy things like, ugh, men are just into blondes. And it's like, why do I say that? Why do I care? I should just be worried about me. And if a dude's not into me, his loss, move on. And that's another point I really wanna drive home to is that we shouldn't measure ourselves and our success and our love life and relationships off of other people. We should define those things by ourselves. It's really hard in a society that's constantly inundating us with shit. And believe me, I know I contribute to that, but like know that my stuff is my stuff and you will live your life. You make the measuring stick. This measuring stick is your measurements alone. You get to decide where you put your effort and your energy and where you want your life to be better, but focus on being better than who you were yesterday. Be great, you're meant for it. I say this to a lot of people. Be great, you're meant for it. The fact that you are alive as a human being is miraculous. You are a miracle. I could really be a preacher, like this is crazy. But I honestly believe that if you have divinity in you, because you do, you're a human, that you owe it to yourself to not compare yourself to other people and to be better who than who you were yesterday. You really owe it to yourself and you owe it to everybody else. When you start focusing on you and you put the blinders up, you will be amazed by how far you can get without comparing yourself to other people. This also means cut out the shit that makes you compare yourself. Get rid of the triggers. A lot of times I find myself looking on Instagram at girls who are skinnier than I am, who I think are prettier than I am, and it's just, it bogs me down. And it's just like, hey, they look different or they have different body types and why can't I get away from that? A lot of the time I have to follow like photographers and stuff. There's a mute button, you know, mute them. Unfollow them if you are daring enough and if you're fine with burning those bridges, but you really do not have to put yourself in a position where you just feel shitty because gosh, life is enough suffering. We have enough suffering. We as humans suffer, that's just part of the human condition and suffering teaches us about things. It teaches us what to avoid and what we can put ourselves up against in the future. It makes us resilient. However, we shouldn't seek out problems because God can give us enough of those and the world can give us enough of those. Okay, my camera died so I have no idea where I left off, but we were talking about self-worth and comparing yourself to people, which is a grandiose waste of time. I think that once you figure this out in your life, of course, you don't find this out until you're later because youth is wasted on the young. But like, as I'm getting older, I'm starting to learn like, hey, maybe it doesn't matter what this person thinks of me because it doesn't. Because I have to live with myself at the end of the day and I'm the person who has to wake up with myself in the morning. So, goodbye to all of that. That's all I really had to say. But since I want to make this stuff 10 minutes long, 10 minutes each, like, comment, and subscribe, please. Hee <laughs> hee. Um, I'm just going to be spitting some more stuff out here look at this like lighting on this thing i burn myself with a curling iron right there this is my tattoo i have bangs this is a weird shirt i have a black head on my shoulder anyways ooh, you guys saw my bra oh my gosh um yeah that's basically all i had to say like stop comparing yourselves because it's going to get you nowhere and within the modeling industry and in within life um it doesn't do much except for make you feel like crap. Unfollow people who make you feel like crap. Mute them if they're your friends and they make you feel like crap. And if they make you feel like crap and they're your friend, why are they your friend? But some things we're just jealous of naturally. And in jealousy too, I think we should go where our jealousy is. Like my best friend graduated from college not too long ago. It's her second degree, she's a genius, I love her. But she graduated from college again and I went to the graduation and I found myself sitting there like, wow, I'm kind of jealous of this. Like, I'm jealous of this. So I put myself back in school and I'm going to graduate again. And that's what you should do with your jealousy is you should turn it into something that fuels you towards your future. And in comparing yourself to other people, which is a waste of time, but if you're going to do it, make it worth something. Make it count. Make it so that it motivates you and encourages you and inspires you to do more and be more with your life so that you can be better than who you were yesterday and what you were yesterday and provide more for yourself in the future. We're playing the long game, babies. We're playing the long game. So stop selling yourself short. Stop comparing yourself and really put in that effort towards the future. You might not be able to see it immediately tomorrow or next week, but little by little you can go far and um, 
that's basically all I had to say to you guys today. Uh, this has been your big sister, Jasmine. I should really make more videos and try to like expand my horizons, but life gets in the way. I have to prioritize that. We'll talk about priorities next time. Anyways, big love to you all. I'm going to clean off my face and derma roll now, which should be fun. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm here if you have questions, comments, concerns, if you need advice, hit me up. All right, love you all.